Oh Shit. no. Oh god. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Today Paul's cooking Carolina Reaper Chicken Vindaloo. Wow. Hey YouTubers, it's Ken and Paul again from KBD Productions TV. Welcome back to the Ken and Paul Cook and Review. How you doing, Paul, buddy? I'm doing well. Awesome, what is on the burners tonight? We are finally doing chicken vindaloo. <laughs> finally, I think we mentioned it in the first one or two videos that we made, and then we just dropped it from stuff. there. Yeah, we just all of a sudden, we just kept making stuff. And yeah. Making stuff, so we're gonna We kept make... changing our minds. Yeah, so we're know. gonna make chicken vindaloo today. Let's do it. Let's do it. So I've already got the chicken cut up, because we didn't see the done. Chicken. Diced tomato. Diced tomato. Diced onion. Ooh. Rice. So here we have turmeric, ground clove, coriander, paprika, cumin, cardamom, cinnamon, garlic, and this is our secret weapon for the day. Oh no. So I uh, I dried up a couple of um, Carolina Reapers. Oh and my I, gosh. Uh, I put uh, three of them in the magic bullet and I just left one whole just to just show. Just to show. Just what to it... show and then there's what we, we ended up oh, with no. after uh, this is gonna hurt. Big so, time. Oh, what's this? And then this is just uh, well, it costs for chicken stock, so I just use the chicken soup base, and I just put it in water just to set aside. Okay. Dump it in. in that. But we'll go through, and that's fresh um, ginger. Ginger. Oh, yes. Okay. So what we're gonna do first. We're gonna get the rice going, because this is relatively quick. So what I'm gonna do is I've got two pots because I'm gonna make it all at once, and I'm not gonna add the Carolina Reaper in. I'm gonna divide it into two because I don't want to kill the children. Right. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna get this going once it's a boil. We can get the rice in. So I've got is I got three uh, cups of water. We're gonna put a bit of salt in there, and I got I don't use measuring cups, but uh, <laughs> well, you did use a I measuring did on that. cup. I did a tiny little thing, and then it's a small measuring I, I cup. I should have a bigger one. But a lot of times I just but I don't even even when I do rice I don't measure because it's two to one. Right. So, so no I, matter I, I what container, just, I right? I just grab like uh, if I'm if I've got this much rice. I just fill up that with water and just dump it in twice. Right. And, and that's how I measure and then just a bit of salt and get it going. Um, so we've got, you see I've got separated the dry spice and then what we have is, is the wet. So what we're going to do is we're going to be toasting the dry spices. Okay. So while this is getting... And that's very up, important for what reason? Because it'll give it, a, it, it, when you toast it, it's actually going to change the flavor. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to put in two uh, good spoonfuls of turmeric and then the rest is going to be basically equal part, but I'm going to level it down a bit. So we got ground clove, ground coriander, paprika, cumin, my favorite, cardamom. Why is and this one's, favorite? It's just, it's it's fragrant. It's, it's, oh, it has right. the, like I'm smelling lemon, flowers. It's it's just, it is, it's. Wait. It's, that's well, it's part of the, uh, yeah. look, look like a hair guy. So yeah, so I didn't have the ground. I had the pods and I, I ground it myself. Okay, so it's just like a little piece of the pod. And I'm like, okay, how did my hair get in there? Cin yes, that's not good. And our cinnamon. Okay. So what I want to do is we're going to put this on low heat. And actually toast it. Because you got to be careful that you don't burn it. Because yeah, when that you would burn kill it, it, then you're, it. you're going to kill it. So I'm just going to let the heat up. I'm just going to put this like that. So you had to pretty much keep your eye on this though? We're just until gonna let, you get it to the point. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't crank it. It's just on low heat. I'm just going to put some salt in here. In the water. We'll put some Himalayan pink salt in there. Okay, and so we're gonna use a little bit of this. Actually, I can put it in now. And then what I'll do is, that way I know that the spice is in there. I don't wanna go, whoop. About the same as you're doing everything else. Yeah, but I don't wanna, I don't wanna make it overly hot. Right. So we're gonna do Although, once, once I've got everything going. Some people want it to be really hot. Ours is gonna be, yes. Yes. It's just a gauge on how much, how hot you, how hot you want it. But the whole idea of Vindaloo, would be. Vindaloo is spicy. So I have a story. I went with my wife years ago. We went to this Indian restaurant and I love Vindaloo's. So when we we're in there, I'm looking at the menu and there was only one Vindaloo dish on there. It was a lamb Vindaloo. Mm. And it said caution in big letters on top. It says, this is our spiciest dish. And I'm like, Oh, it's good for me. <laughs> so I order it, and I start crying about halfway through my meal. And I, I thought I was gonna go blind. I was like, it was just pouring. My wife's like, "Are you okay?" And I'm like, "I can't even breathe. It was so hot." The cooks are in the back laughing, They're laughing their ass at off. Me. Oh, smell that! As it's heating up, you're getting the aromas. Oh my god! Well, that that the uh, flower one is. Well, the cardamom. The cardamom is the one that's coming so through the most. And the um, cinnamon. Ah, uh, no, the clove. clove. Now, will it change color, or is just? It's, what is going to happen? Well, you don't want it to change color. Right, because that means it, it's burnt. Yes. But you can tell like it becomes more fragrant as it's heating up. So we're just going to do this for about two, three minutes. 
but you'll you'll just notice the aroma in the air as it's. Uh, I can smell it here. Wow. It'll really start to lift in the air. Uh, should we start beer right now too? Let's do the beer because uh, we can do that while this is all happening. Beer break. What do we have here, Paul? We have a pumpkin ale from Lake of Bays. Just in time for oh. Thanksgiving. Oh, it's just Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Let's just keep going. Yeah. Let's, let's want to drink it? Yes. Oh, it's a darker beer. Darker ale. Oh, more for me. It almost looks like apple, like a dark, you know what? dark apple juice. That's what it looks like. And it, it does, uh, you smell pumpkin. I can actually smell like a hints of cinnamon. I smell beer. And even apple. Like, cheers. Cheers. It's pretty good. It's, it's it's very light. I can taste a bit of pumpkin. I'd say it's I don't say I don't think it's hop, malt it's hoppy at all. I'd say it's malty. Very light on the on the hops. Right. But it's stronger in the malt. Malt. Leaning over this dish. Oh, it smells so good. Mm. We're just gonna let that come up to a boil again. And then we just shut this off for a second because- We didn't want it to burn. We didn't want to be burning it while we're drinking beer, <laughs> like fools. So now you can see it has, uh... oh, that's good. The color of that. It's well mixed now. Yeah, so we're gonna put some oil in here. So now that you've toasted it, now you're starting to- The wet mix? Yes. And what do you think you just put in? Maybe like four, four to six tablespoons? Yeah, probably about uh, at least four. Yeah. So what we could do from this stage here is you actually just make a paste. If you're just using the oil, you can actually refrigerate it. Put oh, it in okay. Jar, and if you're not, so you, you if you want to make a lot, yeah. If you're go making, for it. Making a bigger batch, and you have a lot of spice or stuff you want to get rid of. Here's where I just throw the onion in. Oh. Oh, it smells so good. So we're gonna put this up on high. Smelling even better now. Oh. Making me hungry, Kenny. I gotta be careful with that because we're not gonna. Please put that don't in put yet. that in. Yeah. So in goes the fresh garlic. Garlic. And since the uh, the, the spices have, have uh, soaked up a lot of the oil, I'm just gonna put a little bit more in. Just a touch. We're just gonna grate in fresh. Ginger. Hey, Ginger. Hey. So this once, once this comes to a boil, put it down to simmer, and then we're going to cover it. We're going to let it. Uh, we're going to leave it on low, low heat for another 20 minutes, and we're just going to shut it off. And that's all she'll need. Put this right down, and that's good. So I'm just going to move this to the back now. We won't need that. Stir this around a little bit longer. It's such a simple, it's such a simple dish. Like it's, it's a very fast, easy dish to prepare. And at this point, is it just spicy, or is it spicy almost hot? Because. If we would have toasted more cayenne pepper, I wanted it mild. I wanted a little bit of heat, so we didn't put much in. So this is gonna be very. This is gonna be pretty mild. It's gonna thinking, be very. You can get all the fragrant uh, aromas out of that right now. I'm thinking my wife would love this, mm. but this is, she wouldn't like the heat. So then you just omit the the cayenne pepper, or cut it back. Chicken stock. Yep. Half cup, full cup. Uh, I had about a cup. Hey, it's done. Let's eat. No, she's not done. <laughs> Have you heard of salmonella? <laughs> <laughs> this is Vindaloo. So this salmonella. is just a regular uh, can of uh, crushed tomato, and I strained it because I want it to. I don't want it to be like a soup. So if I would have left all that liquid in, it would have taken a long time to yeah. boil down. But what we have is so we're gonna take this a good stir. What we're gonna do, if you want it thicker and you don't have the time to boil down. Throw in some paste. Some tomato paste. That's a good stir. Mm. Set that on there. It's looking pretty crazy right now. Oh. Covering it keeps the moisture in. Okay. So if something's uncovered, 
the steam, your liquid's lowering, I get thicker. Oh, look at that. So now you're just checking for... I just want to give it a stir. Just, yeah, you can see how it's... Uh, everything's mixing in nicely. Chickens were almost cooked there. Making sure the onions, everything's cooking nicely. At this stage, we can have, we have two choices. If we want to eat quickly, and we want it that thicker, we can add tomato paste. Or, we can leave it uncovered and let it boil down a little bit. Okay, Paul, what's next, buddy? We got a bit of vinegar going in. So... One... Two. Two good, two good ones. Two good ones. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put... Oh, there's my little spoon. We're going to thicken this up. And we're going we're gonna to get... Um, so only two we're scoops. The, we're gonna get the nan going. Mmm. You know that smells good. So at this point too, we're gonna divide it in two because ours is gonna be off the. We're gonna make ours really spicy. Oh boy. So we're gonna turn on the front burner. We're gonna get the nan going. So what I want to do. That definitely thickened it up. Wow. See. Pretty quick. That's gonna be the killer. This will be the killer. How much are you gonna put in, dude? How much what? Heat? <laughs> as much as you want, Kenny. As oh. much as you want. Oh no. Scratch. <laughs> oh, that's probably it. That might hurt. That is bad. How many did you? Oh no, dude! <laughs> uh, How many peppers was that? <laughs> Three. You're kidding! You just killed all that chicken. Oh man. Oh my gosh. Oh. I can't believe you just did that. I can't believe I can't even smell that because it, it just goes straight up your nose. Just destroyed your nose. So we'll toast up three then. I think we'll need more than three. Yeah, you each. might need more uh, we're to help with the pain. Oh, no. oh. So I'm just going to put a touch of salt in there. That would be a great title for the video Reaper Vindaloo? Yeah. That's just getting yeah, nice rice and warm. ready to go. This is bubbling nicely. And um, let's get another place setting going, I guess. Let's do it. Okay. So you're just browning it, dude? or I'm just, I'm just lightly browning it. See, it's softening it up nicely. Okay. So as I said, there will only need a couple of them. This will be fast now. So what I can do is we'll get, we'll get it plated. I'm just going to need some because this stuff's hot. It's going to make Kenny cry. Oh, it's going to kill me, dude. Do you have any chutney? I do not. Oh, mango chutney is my favorite is with curry. I didn't know that. Oh, it really helps oh. take the edge off certain yeah. heat, <laughs> heated curries, and this would have helped today. Oh, this one here, this is the mild one. And and this one, this one, this one is punishing. This is the. Oh my! I'm surprised the pan isn't like melting. Mmm. Oh, dude. Oh, it, it smells like fire. Mmm. From here on, I'll curse the word Vindaloo. <laughs> I am sweating, and I haven't even tried it yet. I know, me too. Just thinking about it. Pizza slices. What's this? Well,. Usually we use yogurt, but I had sour cream, and I like I prefer sour cream on mine because I find it um, of a more of a creamier. It's nice to mix in. This will help cool it down. <laughs> yeah, right. A tub of ice cream is not going to cool that down. What's that? I'm just going to put some fresh cilantro on there. Cilantro. Nice, dude. There First thing you people go, see is that. Let's take a picture. Oh, picture time. Picture. Okay guys, we're all ready to eat the Reaper Vindaloo that Paul's created. I'm actually terrified. He put, <laughs> he put three, we were basically sharing one and a half Reapers. 
Yes. That was a bad, a bad, bad idea. Yeah, maybe I don't know. Got excited, and I maybe I shouldn't have done did that. I, <laughs> <laughs> I have a sip before I start. Oh. All right. So Mark Andre has like no uh, extra yep. heat added. It's just the heat straight yeah, up. Yeah, made right? it very oh. mild. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So give it a dig, shot. dig in. Tell us what it tastes like you before can we in, dig uh, in and die. Just like the regular mild plastic one. Yeah, you you, to... you rate it. All right. Don't do it, Paul. Wait till he's. Oh, it smells hot. Because he's gonna have like the, mm. the the regular taste test. You know what? I really want to uh, try it before. I just need to take a little piece. There we go. There I just want a little piece. Don't do oh, it, Paul. Wait. Oh, oh. You should try it without the hot. Mm. Yeah, I like the rest of this one. You can eat. Kind of it just just eat off his fork. There, there you go. go. That is fantastic. Was the the first coal was the out. first thing to pick. But I think when we eat this, are you ready? This is going to be more than clove. This is going to be hell. Cheers. Oh, oh no. Shit. Oh God. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Paul, man. Oh, she's hot. I might, India would be proud. Oh. Would they? Yes. I got it. Because they love it hot like that. This is, the, this is where the sour cream comes in. They wouldn't be proud of you crying. No, they'd be proud of the dish. I think I'll be able to eat it, though. Holy crap. Yeah. I'm gonna need more nails. Dude, one bite and I'm like, the sweat is coming down my face. What do you taste in the difference though between the mild and like, other than excruciating pain? The, the heat from, of it from is what overpowering. Yeah? Yeah. But on this one, I got some cilantro in it and the cilantro really mm -hmm. bumped it up a notch. Like, have you tried the cilantro with a piece oh, of yeah? meat? How hot is it though? I kind of want to try, but I'm also very uh, give me a fork. Very weak with spicy. There you go, bro. Enjoy. See, come like even through looks, you can tell. Like this one's a bit more red. Oh and, my gosh! Like bright in color. This one's just dark, you know, mild. It's Bottom, starting to build now. Arms up. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Oh my god, dude. Oh. Oh no, there it is. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god. I was literally on the urge of saying like, man, you guys are just being crybabies. This is nothing. Then it hit me. Then it hit me as soon as I opened my mouth. Ooh. Not that bad though. I could probably have a plate. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh. Oh. I have to get to move crying with the tin. My eyes are tearing up. Oh, they're starting to sting. Oh, you know what the problem is? The peppers. <laughs> <laughs> you just killed the vindaloo. Oh, dude. Oh, she's hot. What was I talking about? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think I was just about how hot it is. It's spicy. And I've just been eating the, the sour cream. Is there a cream? cream part where it's just mixed in lightly. Mind if I try another one? I want to be able to give my full opinion on oh this one. No, Problem is, no, is no sour cream for this one though. Problem is, is it? Mm -hmm. It's gonna build. Uh, uh, uh. What about the comparing to the one that's downtown Toronto that killed you? This is hotter. It's pretty good though. You can definitely uh, feel the, uh, the build up. It's hot as hell. Uh, watch the bar. Uh, uh, scream? Scream? Yeah, you know what? Scream? You want some more scream? There? I gotta cool this down because I can't eat it. No, it's here. Kevin. I will need more than that. I might have to do some more nan bread too. Oh, it's not enough. I told you that. I'm gonna take it all. Let me help you out. 
Oh. At this point, I'm just stealing little bits here and there. You're a trooper. It's not gonna lie. One, I'm already out of chicken, which is the problem. You're sour cream, all, right? Yeah. I'm actually really liking the uh, pepper one way more than the mild. Are you? Yep. The mild's got its flavor, but like I think I think it's really really good with the like the pepper uh, like seasoning and all. I think if you put one half pepper in there, that's enough. Would have done a whole batch. It would have been it would have been acceptable. Yeah. Well, this is so so hot. Oh yeah. Oh, I mix it up. It's like you did. Like it's it's definitely milder than. Whew, definitely eat it. Definitely Maybe a lot easier to eat than putting the, the straight the pepper, straight pepper yeah. in your mouth because the pepper is an explosion. Where this because of the um, the seasoning is that holy cow. I can't tell if you guys are exaggerating or not. We're not, not exaggerating. exaggerating. Look at, look at, Mark Andre, look at my face. I'm not doing this. Do oh, I look yeah. like I'm exaggerating? It looks, it looks, <laughs> that's called, that's called method acting. <laughs> it looks like you came right out of the sauna. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this right now, to be honest. In my age, I'm becoming a big wimp with heat. Yeah, I think it's the chicken. Because it's just coated around the outside. It's not as hot as the sauce. The sauce is, is killer. Uh. Oh yeah, as, as hot as the Reaper is, it has a very distinct flavor. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I can yeah. taste it throughout. <sighs> oh, this is a challenge. This is a... Oh. If we do manage to eat it, we'll technically have eaten a full Reaper pepper and a half each. each. It's actually really starting to affect me negatively, like big time. Oh, God, it's making me uh, twitch. <laughs> oh. Yeah, let's just say uh, you guys aren't using this bathroom tonight. <laughs> I, oh. I'm tapping out. <sighs> if I eat anymore, it will kill me. I need uh, I need I need to blow my nose. Me too. I need a big glass of water with ice. What's up, bar? Leave it to me, boys. Oh, dude. How can sweat be running down? Look at I can feel it running. Down. Oh, it's all over down, all over you. It's like pouring out of my pores. <laughs> well, <sighs> Paul. I, 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 uh, that is definitely the hottest you know meal I've ever cooked. There's nothing for us. on here. You know what I'm gonna do? Still I'm gonna take some, some of this because I need to. Uh, I can't rate what I have because I can't even eat it. And I'm um, the vindaloo. If you like, I say if you you if you had just used a quarter of a pepper, it probably would have been acceptable. But I don't even taste vindaloo anymore. I apologize because I killed it. As soon as I saw you do that, I'm like, dude. We're gonna die. I, I ate all my chicken. I don't want to waste the chicken, but the sauce. Even with the, the amount of sour cream to the dairy product always takes the heat it's down. It's so hot. And it's just, I can't even drink my beer. I got, if I spread it out of it, then it looks like I ate more. Oh, oh no. <laughs> something came up. Oh, <sighs> extra I... sauce inbound. <laughs> oh my goodness, Paul. The vindaloo that I had off of uh, Marc Andre's plate was absolutely fantastic. I just like a little more heat to his. 100% less heat on so, this. If you want to get like a nice, nice heat, because cayenne pepper is, is not a hot, is <laughs> not a hot, hot heat. You could go with one to two tablespoons in that, and when you're toasting it, have that in at the same time with the dry ingredients. Didn't you do that though? I, I put not, I probably put like yeah, you half. Put cayenne yeah, in but I, it was very little though. Oh, okay. Let's say probably half a, a tablespoon, where you could go with probably one to two tablespoons to bring the heat up. Right, without uh, adding the uh, uh, Reapers. The, the Reapers, bad idea. I'm gonna give myself two thumbs down on that one. <laughs> The fact that you, if you can't oh. finish something, then there's something wrong, right? Oh. 
And Paul gave it th two thumbs down before I said anything. But... No, but the flavor is like the flavor is unbelievable. There's yeah, the heat that is just flavor like, is amazing. The heat is like uh, I just got punched in the face. This is, this, <laughs> I'm, seriously, like, you cannot taste anything to do with vindaloo in this. No, you do. No, I don't because it's when I'm, 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 I'm still getting right I'm off. still getting the flavors. But as, as, like when you first the first piece of chicken, I'm getting the flavors. But all of a sudden the heat, all of a sudden it, 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 it was over. like a delay. And all of a sudden, as you're eating, all of a sudden this fire starts up, and now oh, I can't yeah. I can't. Uh, like spikes in your mouth. The right? whole back of the roof of my mouth, my tongue is on fire, all down my throat and my the pit on my stomach is getting that uh, hot pepper challenge burn. Oh boy. And you don't want that. Oh. Well, Paul. <laughs> the oh. Vindaloo part was absolutely fantastic and I honestly want to try that when I go home. Very fast, easy to make. Ma make that for my wife because she likes curries and uh, maybe even make it for a bunch of people at the cottage. One thing I didn't show though, um, I didn't. Oh. I didn't have. I didn't have. Um, I had ground clove, but a lot of people buy the whole clove. Um, you can take if you have whole. Like I had my cardamom was the whole cardamom, so you can throw your spices. Your, your spices. Your spices. I put it in the magic bullet and just mm -hmm. quick grind. Oh boy, Paul, you really outdid yourself on this one. Mark Andre, give it a rating, buddy. I'd say go out and get it now. Nice. If you want to burn your tongue. <laughs> if you but, want to burn no, your tongue. No, but yours, yours, yours. Oh my! Oh, definitely. Like very sweet, got a nice flavor. Chicken works well. The cilantro and sour cream was a very nice touch. Yeah, I love the cilantro until it started killing me. Definitely Go helped stuff. out with you guys. Yeah. And for uh, your little hot chicken there, I actually really enjoyed that too. Not as much as right. the mild. Like I'm more of a mild guy, but right. like, uh, wasn't too bad. I think a pinch of that. Instead of doing what I did in there, yeah. just to put like give it a nice heat would have been perfect. Yeah, this is definitely way too hot. That was a ten out of ten on the hottest thing that Paul has ever created, and that will go into the Guinness Book of World Records for Paul's cooking. That we couldn't even finish it. I, it's cooled off a little bit in my mouth now. I could probably start to eat again, but then it would just come back, and then that would probably make me sick. Yeah, right now I'm, I'm tingling like. I got like this tingling around the yeah. mouth, and, and I've, I've still got my, uh, it's just... It's subsided though, it's, it's kind of come down a bit. Whew. Anyway. Guys, I'd like to thank Paul once again for cooking dinner, although it almost killed us. Marc-Andre for joining us this evening. Marc-Andre, thanks buddy. If you don't want to miss any of these amazing videos of Paul cooking me some amazing meals and us reviewing it, please hit that subscribe button and mean the world to us. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next time on another Ken, Paul, and Marc-Andre cooking review. Ken, Paul, Marc-Andre out.